Hey there guys, welcome back to another episode of Seriously, I'm Ben Basu and today we have a whole bunch of trailers, news and informations and cool stuff to talk about. Let's get to it. First of all, we have premiere dates for shows that are returning this summer season, so you still have some time to catch up with your favorite shows if you haven't yet. And first in line, Rectify will make its season 2 debut on July 19th. If you've never watched Rectify and don't know what it's about, you can check out the trailer here. It follows around a man who has been in prison for way too long and he barely recalls what life outside of the jail cell actually is like. So when it's finally time for him to get out, yes, you guessed correctly, it's a bit harsh. It is a great drama and a great show, so if you haven't watched it, catch up on season 1 right now. You can see the trailer right here. And season 2, as I said, premieres on July the 19th. Also coming back for a season 2 premiere is Stephen King's Under the Dome. Yes, this show will come back for a second season. If you haven't seen the first one, you can check out a trailer right here. It's based on Stephen King's book of the same name, and he is actually a writer for the series. Now, I know season one wasn't the best show we've ever seen, but you know, it's cool to watch Stephen King stories anywhere, TV, movies, so yeah. Just watch it for the sake of watching it. It has some cool moments. Don't watch it for the acting or the amazing writing, but still, you know, it's weird Stephen King and as I said, Under the Dome Season 2 premiere will be on June the 30th. Also returning this summer on July 13th is the amazing and yet so underrated 2013 series Ray Donovan. Watch it. It's an amazing series. It's brilliant. It stars Liev Schreiber, Schreiber, Liev Schreiber, and Dancing in a Whorehouse John Voight. Also check out the trailer for season 1 to see if you're interested and as I said, season 2 premieres on July 13th. In other news, ABC Family has renewed Pretty Little Liars for two more seasons that it doesn't deserve. Moving on. Roberto Orsi, writer of all things J.J. Abrams and creator of Sleepy Hollow has a new show coming out and we have a trailer. Matador follows around a CIA agent that goes undercover as a football player. Oh I'm sorry, let me rephrase that, as a soccer player. You can check out the trailer right here. It looks kind of... I don't really know what to think about the show. You know, like the whole premise is kind of ridiculous. It's It sounds kind of funny. You know, this is the kind of thing that if a friend told you on the street about this idea, you'd be like, dude, no way. That will never get made as a show. Maybe it was a bet. I know. Could have been a bet between J.J. Abrams and Roberto Orsi. Roberto Orsi probably said like, dude, I dare you to try and direct the new Star Wars. And he's like, dude, if I get to do the next Star Wars, you have to pitch and get a show made about a CIA agent undercover as a soccer player. So you can check out the trailer for yourself. It kind of looks like a Mexican Chuck. Not because I'm racist, but because the character is Mexican, you know, so yeah. You could give that a look. Chuck is a good show. So anyway, find out for yourself what it's like by clicking the trailer right here. And premiering July 27th is a show that we've already talked about in previous episodes, so I'm not going to go into any detail right here. It's called Manhattan, and we have a new trailer, actually. But it's more like an actual trailer because the last one was just like pictures and inspiring music and wind blowing, people looking outside of windows, meditating. So now you can check out the new trailer right here, it premieres on July 27th. And also on Weird Shows Getting Made, we have a trailer for MTV's new drama called Finding Carter. Finding Carter is about a teenage girl who discovers that her entire life has been a lie because she was actually kidnapped when she was a kid. And her whole family was just like fake psychotic kidnapper family stuff. So it falls around the character of Carter trying to reconnect and get to know her actual real family while going through the entire confusion of the situation. You know? Yeah, like, and you thought growing up was hard. And finally, on the last bit of news that had me really excited, Grumpy Cat. That girl right there. Yes, she's a girl. A female cat is getting her own TV movie and the title could not be more appropriate. It's called Grumpy Cat's Worst Christmas Ever. This Lifetime original movie follows a pet store cat who can somehow communicate with a 12 year old girl. And then they have like the worst Christmas ever. And by the worst Christmas ever, we actually mean the most awesome and incredible Christmas movie ever made in the history of television and film. There's no trailer or premiere dates yet, but yeah. 
we'll definitely let you know about this one. And finally, you need to sit down. Are you sitting down? You should be sitting down. If you're not sitting down, you're probably on your bed, laying on your back with your computer on top of your chest, eating chips, drinking mate. One of the most beloved children's shows will make a comeback through the miraculous Netflix. We are talking about the magic school bus, people. Yes. Miss Frizzleman Nissel will come back with all of her kids and her auto-tuned bus because everything is updated in this version of the series to give us more adventures and wonders of the world and making science cool for kids again. Netflix has ordered 26 half hour long episodes and they're scheduled to premiere during 2016. I'm actually super excited for this and I don't care if I'm 26 and I've been married for four years but if I watched the magic school bus as a kid but not because I'm Chilean because I know it's weird because if I'm Chilean and they didn't show it here because it's an American show, but yeah, well, yeah. Thing is, I lived in Jamaica for a couple of years. That's where I got my funny English accent. And our teachers always use the magic school bus to teach us a whole bunch of things, like taking a trip through the circulatory system or getting baked into a pie. But yeah, it was so amazing that I can't wait for Netflix to premiere this series and I'll probably binge watch it. Yeah, binge watch that there's an achievement unlocked. So that's it for today guys. Thank you for staying with me. If you want more information on the shows that you love, please be sure to check out our Facebook page right here or my personal Twitter account where I also tweet a whole bunch of trailers and news and things that I'm excited about. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button so you can be updated with all the TV world news and trailers and things to waste your time on. If that's it, please feel free to comment, like this video, share it with all of your friends, do whatever it takes. Do whatever it takes. Thanks again, guys. Keep watching, and I'll see you next time.